Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying some new things as always. They're not new on the market, just new to me. I have two apologies to make. One, if you can hear the rain because it is pouring down here at the moment. <laughs> and two is if you can hear my son's music because he's just decided to play his music loud as anything right at this very moment. Children, you gotta love him. Anyway. The new things. First up is a mascara. So this is the Maybelline, so this is part of the Colossal range. I've been trying a few of their things lately. Uh, but this one is the Curl and Bounce. In this packaging. If my camera will focus, there we are. The bright yellow. Um, so this has a lot of claims. It has a claim that you do not need to use an eyelash curler. Okay, so it's meant to give you the curl. It is meant to give you big volume, 24 hour wear. That's about a bouncy curl. Okay, so this comes in two shades. Mine is in the shade very black, and then there's a blackest black. Is there really a difference? <laughs> I suppose there is. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. Oh, now I should mention it says washable mascara. Now I'm not sure what they mean by that. Washable mascara. Hmm. Memory curl formula. Activates curl that lasts hour after hour. Providing big bouncy volume. <laughs> Smudge resistant, flake resistant. Okay, right on. Let's open it up. First of all, it looks like a giant tampon. <laughs> yes, I said that. Um, okay, one thing I noticed straight away is that it has a rounded bottom. So when you're going to be doing it and you go rest it, you're going to have to lie it down. I don't know, that's just a pet peeve of mine, that's no biggie. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like to be able to just take it up, stand it up. So this one you have to lie it down. Okay, it has like these grooves on it for like a good grip, which is quite nice. Uh, what else? Okay, let's look at the brush. Here is the wand. So it's curved like they say. You can see it. Turn it around. There we are. Not to the extreme it says on their picture. <laughs> looks a bit different. Okay, so it has a lot of bristles with a few gaps in them. Mm, okay. I have one eye that's usually worse than the other, so I'm going to try it with my good eye, <laughs> which is this one. So I haven't curled my lashes. There's nothing on them. Let me see how we go. I actually don't know if I like curved ones. I usually make a mess of them, so Let's see how we go. Hmm. I wouldn't say there's a lot of curl. Might be different with two coats. I'll just let the one dry and then do another coat. While I'm waiting, I'll do my other awkward eye off camera. So hold please. Okay, the first eye should be dry enough. Let's put a second coat on and see if it makes any difference. So, so far I'm not really noticing much of a curl. I mean, if it's there it's very minimal. So let's try a second coat. Okay, with a second coat I would say it's definitely given it more volume. Has it given it curl? Okay, it's slightly curled. It's, it doesn't have that nice you know, curled arch that curling your eyelashes does. It has a slight curve. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> There's a slight curve there, yeah, but nothing, nothing like what an eye curl, eyelash curl would do. Okay, there it is with two coats. My bad eye, of course, I've made a mess of it, and the lower lash line was a bit more awkward than usual, having a curved brush, and you try to use the tip, you know, so it's not so awkward, but still. <laughs> okay, so yeah, okay, 
curl and bounce, well, I'd say it gives you a slight curl. Nothing, nothing like a, an eyelash curler would do. Uh, volume, well, it's, yes, I would say it gives you some volume. Goes on nicely. It's not like a really wet formula. It's, I would kind of call it like a medium, you know, good balance. Um, I will leave some notes in the description box to let you know whether it smudges or flakes so far. I don't know. It hasn't well me, put it that way. Um, I didn't go, gosh, I love the way, well, I love the way it looks kind of thing. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'll try it for the season. <laughs> so, oh, I should have tried, should have um, given you the price. So. This is available from tons of places to be honest. The dearest I found was Farmers, it's 32 there. The cheapest I found was actually Countdown Supermarket, it was 1860 there. So, and then everywhere between. <laughs> Chemist Warehouse has it, New World has it, um, The Warehouse has it, so there's a few places you can buy it. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how I go. So that was the Maybelline Curl and Bounce Mascara. Next up, I wanted to try a, uh, this is a, they're calling this a blusher and a bronzer. So this is called the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blonzer, B-L-N-O-Z-E-R. Comes in this box. And what do we know about this one? So this is available at Mecca. It is on the Dara side. This was 47. Comes in five shades. Mine is in the shade Kiss of Rose. So I'm not going to use it as a bronzer because I actually have a bronzer to try if I can get this out of the box. Um, oh wow, that looks really cool. Okay. So here is the packaging, so it has a glass, or plastic actually, sorry, front on it. And let's open it up. And as I said, mine is in Kiss of Rose. Gosh, doesn't they look pretty? Okay, let's read what this claims to do. So this is an innovative clean blush and bronzer hybrid that combines the rosiness of a blush with the sun-kissed glow of a bronzer. In just one step. A flush of sheer colour with a naturally luminous glow and a silky weightless, weightless formula. <sighs> okay. Mm, what else we got? The reviews are really, really good. A lot of five stars. Um, let's see if I can read. No. Okay. I'm not, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to try it as a bronzer. I'm just going to use it as a blush. So let's put some on my hand first. Oh gosh. Okay. And show you the color. Very pigmented. <laughs> okay. So there's a slight shimmer to it. Let me put a bit more on. But no glittery kind of flakes or anything. There we are. glides on really smoothly, blends out really, really well. So this was, what was this called? Kiss of Rose. So to me it's kind of a peachy gold kind of a colour. Peach, copper, all those kind of colours are a bit hit and miss on me, so uh, we'll see how this goes. But it looks like it might be light enough that, yeah, it might just give me a nice wash of colour. So. Let's try this. So I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush because it looks like it um, gets a lot. Tap off the excess. Smile and put it on the apples. Hmm. 
There we are. Wow. That is a nice colour. Very nice. I just realised I probably should have done my bronzer first. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually do it in this order. I might add. Um, I guess because this was a... Oh my gosh, now my son has a hair dryer going. In, I guess because this was a, a bronzer as well, I guess my thinking was maybe I would use this as a bronzer, but I don't think this particular colour anyway would look good on me as a bronzer. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on this cheek. You do not need a lot on the brush, which is good because I guess, you know, the less you have to put on, the longer the product is going to last, isn't it, really? I'm not sure what the shelf life is. Let's see how we look. 12 months. Wow. That's good. So you definitely get a lot of wear out of it in 12 months. Okay. I am really liking that. Actually, it's, blush is the one thing I seem to have good luck with. I can't really say I've had too many blushes. Well, actually, other than the Fenty Cream blush. <laughs> That's the only one I've had issues with. But that was more the colour. Well, yeah, it was the colour and the consistency thing. I don't know, people raved about that one, but it was just not for me. But yeah, I've had, it seemed to have good luck with blushes. I suppose I've got to have good luck with one thing, haven't I? Okay, I'm really liking that blush. Up close, you can see there is a gold sheen to it. Yeah. So like... I wouldn't put a highlight on on because that's the colour I use for my highlighters is that goldy kind of colour so I wouldn't need one. I'd get away without it. That looks really, really cool. I'm super happy with that one. <laughs> Who would have thought? I don't think that shade would be very good for me as a bronzer but um, what is it? Five shades. I guess if they go in a browner. Yeah. I don't know how that would work as a bronzer. Anyway. I, at the moment, like it as, or this colour I should say, I like it as a blush. I don't think, no, actually I know me, I won't try it as a bronzer, just because of the colouring. <laughs> it's going to make me look like I'm orange. So um, I won't be trying it as a um, bronzer, but I will keep continuing to use it as a blush, because I really, really, really like that. That is super cool. So, that is the... Bare Minerals Blonder. Super, super nice. Oh my gosh, just, just look how pretty that is. That's, oh, that's so cool. That shade was Kiss of Rose. I'm not sure if I told you that. I think I did. But anyway. Really impressed with that. First impressions? Mmm. Yep, I think I'm going to like that. I know, I say that and then I have these bad luck. Oh, one extra thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this on my eyeshadow look because I left it thinking I might be able to. So let's see how it goes in the eyes. First, I'm going to get rid of the mascara marks. See how this goes. Just something on my inner third, and this kind of ties in the look if I use it in there. Oh, that looks really nice. It's not really showing up, it sort of is. <laughs> it's sort of said. But it is tying in the look really nicely. This is just a neat little trick you can do. You know, sometimes if you're unsure of how your eye look is going to go with your blush or how to pick a blush colour that goes with your eye look, <laughs> you can just put some of your blush on your eye look. That way you've nailed it. There we are. That ties that in really nice. Gosh, wow. I cannot stop looking at that blush. That is really cool. Now I'm probably going to ruin it. Ruin it with the um, 
bronzer. <laughs> anyway, should have done that first. Okay, it's all right, it's all good. Okay, the bronzer I have is from Tarte and it's called their Matte Waterproof Bronzer and mine is in the shade Park Avenue Princess. So this is it here. So this one is available from Sephora. They only have two shades, which makes me wonder if uh, they're going out as I hope not. This is on the expensive side too. This is 59. I actually got this on sale because I would never pay that for a bronzer. <laughs> Sephora had their big, was it 20% off? Something like that sale. Oh, this packaging. Look how cute that is. So this is like a, a fa imitation leather. Park Princess Tarte. That is just cute. Okay, it has a mirror. Let's take the cover off. Is it magnetic? I know it is magnetic. Opening and shutting. Let's go this way. So there it is. The camera will focus. This is meant to gently. What? No. Hang on. Here we are. No. Hmm. Okay. All the reviews are good. It doesn't say anything about it. Really. Um, this is Sephora. I think I told you that. Full description. Okay, it is formulated to build and blend the perfect level of a uniform bronzer. Create the illusion of an expertly sculpted slimmer appearance. All Mate waterproof version adds instant warmth and dimension across a variety of skin tones. The Amazonian clay infused formula helps to improve skin clarity, texture and tone for overall lit from within complexion. I would agree with that. All the um, reviews are fives. And fours. <laughs> wow. This is more of a subtle bronzer. Okay, yeah, most of them are saying it's not a full on, you know, out there bronzer in your face. It's more of a subtle, which is what I love. So, put this. <laughs> okay, let's just put it on my forehead. Let's go there and see how we go. Oh, actually first let's do a little test on the hand. Oh gosh, that feels really smooth and buttery. That's nice. That's always a good sign. Blends out. Oops. Okay, you can see it on the hand there. So it's just sort of there if you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> It is just there. The thing about bronzers is I don't like, well, I find it very hard to find shades actually um, because I don't, most of them turn orange on me or they're too dark and I just can't seem to win. So I always go for the lighter shade and sometimes it's too light. But anyway, we'll see how this one goes. Just going to take my Real Techniques brush, swish it around, and let's try on the forehead and see how we go. I should have done half the forehead so I could see a difference. You see, I always think of these things afterward. Never mind. <laughs> hmm, does it have a scent? There is a slight scent. I can't actually pick what that is. Hmm, yeah, you know what? I think it's clay. Funny that. It's called, <laughs> isn't it called clay? Oh, hang on. What was this? I read something about clay. Amazon clay. There we go. Okay, you can sort of see it. Actually, let me fix up this side. It is there. I don't mind. I like a subtle bronzer. I don't, you know, I don't really want something in in your face, as they say. <laughs> because on me, it would be too dark or too orange. It's just the the story of my life. I don't know if I'll be able to get away with this affecting the blush. Hmm. Let's try it. 
I don't think it did. <laughs> I don't usually, usually, don't usually do it that low. Usually you try and keep it sort of here, pretty much where the blush is. Does not matter, we will just keep going. I love how smooth that is in the pan. That's really smooth. Actually, I am liking that too. Hmm. Fancy that. That's on the dearer side, but I've, with bronzes, I have such bad luck that um, I wouldn't mind paying a bit more, uh, you know, if it's going to work, number one, and it's going to last, <sighs> then hey. Okay, let's put some around the jawline. Under the chin. Okay. Hmm. I think I like that one too. I'm really liking that one too. This is a good score for me. Wow. Well, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> Famous last words. I've said things have been good and then I, you know, I've tried them for the season and I'm like, dang it, <laughs> something's wrong. But first impressions, golly gosh, my two faves, gotta be there. This was so easy. You know, some bronzes you can be there for ages, you know, trying to build the color, trying, what was it, two, three times maybe? I can't remember. Maybe three times. You know, and it was really good. Colors there. Did its job. Super happy with that. Wow, I hope they're not going out of that. That is super cool. Super happy with the bronzer as well. The Bare Minerals bronzer. I didn't think I would like that. I just wanted to try it because I heard, you know, blush, bronzer, and one. Seems odd. But then I noticed a few people wearing it just as a blush and it looked really, really nice. I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I have to say, Hmm, I agree. I love it. I love those two. Those two there? Yeah, yeah. Really digging them. Okay. Mascara? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I am picky with mascaras. I can admit it. <laughs> I think I have to be though, because my lashes are stick straight, they're long, and we're now having a hailstorm apparently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they're long, and they have no volume. So when I want a mascara, I want a mascara that's going to, number one, hold the curl, number two, give me volume. I mean, the curl, actually, is probably not number one, let's switch them around. Most of all, I'm after volume, okay? So I want something that's going to give me the volume. Curl's not a big one, I can just curl my eyelashes and be done with it. But when I read about this, I was like, hey, maybe finally something I don't have to curl my lashes. <laughs> I can just use it and it'll do what it says, yay! No. Uh, there's a slight curl, as I said. I don't think it's going to get any better, but I will keep trying it. <laughs> but at the moment, the other two are my faves. The other two blew me away. Yes. Wow. I am excited about them. Can you tell? That is it for today. So uh, I will have everything listed and linked below what I have talked about. So you can just click on the link and it'll take you somewhere to buy it, pretty much. And I will also leave um, results. So if the mascara flaked, if anything faded, if anything weird happened, which sometimes you know, I will put that in the description box as well. Okay. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye!